let's look at data file recovery now let's assume that there is one data file which needs to be recovered so to simulate a rec need for recovery I will delete the file I'm going to remove the file whatever is in the buffer cache I'm just going to flush so there is any requirement to read blocks will have to be from disk oops I didn't flush the buffer cache So you get an error. This query was trying to read from a table which exists in data file 6. So get an error on data file 6. And Linux reports that there is no, no such file. Here this, the simulation is that there is no file. It could be that one or more blocks of the, of the data file are corrupt or the data file has been relocated by mistake or anything else which makes the data inaccessible. So let's use Armin to recover the data file. First, we take the data file offline. Okay, then we say this. We found verify if there is any backup of the data file. We can say list backup of data file six. It shows us shows us that there are multiple backups of data file six. There was inside backup set on 28th March. There is a backup. Then there's another backup on 28th March in backup set number three. So this is from an incremental level 1 backup on 20th March and so on 11th April there are multiple backups but of course Oracle will recover from the latest backup this is an incremental 1 backup so before that it needs an incremental level 0 backup it will restore the file from incremental level 0 and then apply changes from incremental level 1 and then after that whatever changes are needed to be applied from the archive logs or redo logs those will also be applied during the recover phase. So let's first restore the data file. So it's restoring the data file from the uh, incremental level zero backup, okay, which is this one. Sorry, backup set nineteen. This backup piece taken on eleventh April. Let me scroll down, you can see that the backup piece is the same. Now I will recover the data file. And to do a recovery, it has again applied changes from criminal backup and also in the background it has also applied any more changes required from archive logs or online redo logs. Those it doesn't ex explicitly show here but if there were multiple uh, files to be applied, it would have showed them here. Then I bring the file online again. Let me try to query the table now. Yeah, now the data in that data file 6 is accessible. So Rman will automatically identify which backup to use for restoration. Although there are multiple backups, backups going as far back as 28th March, it'll apply the latest level zero backup first and then changes from any incremental level ba one backups. If there are no level zero and level one backups, it'll take the full backup. So for example, this incremental level zero ba backup, if it did not exist, it would have taken from a full backup earlier which is this one and recovered all transactions from archive logs and online redo logs. 
So when you do a restore and recover, you don't have to explicitly identify which backup set and which backup piece to recover from. You can leave that to Rman. It will automatically identify the backup set and backup piece to do the restore and recovery from.